Now that the envelope is here, there are five names that will advance through the next round. We are going to call the names in a random order. Again, this is in no particular order. Ladies, once we announce your names, please take a step forward. The first contestant that will advance to the next round in the hopes of becoming this year's Miss Arab USA 2024 is... Raneem Gadada! The second contestant moving on for the final round of Miss Arab USA 2024 is... Miss Maya Salah. Three more spots are left. The third contestant is... The fourth contestant moving on to the final round of Miss Arab USA 2024 is... Fatan Zen al -Din. Ladies, just one more spot. The fifth contestant is... Contestants here for Miss Honor USA 2024. You are all winners. If you made it to the top five or not, everyone here is a winner. And we know that you will do great and amazing things in your lives, whatever you choose to do. Now we reach the last chance to collect points that will make you earn the crown. We are going to call the girls in the same random order. Again, this is in no particular order that we announced them earlier. The judges have prepared five questions. When we call your name, you select a question and we will read that question to you. Answer them please and shine. Ranim Gadala, please step forward. Lanti at Turk, what is the biggest problem facing your generation and how can you solve this? I think one of the biggest problems that we face in this generation is social media and comparing ourselves to other people on social media. And my advice is don't compare to yourself to anyone on social media because it's most likely not even real. Thank you. Thank you, Rani. The second question by Maya Salah. Amani al Sharkawi, how do you believe being Arab in the United States has helped you make a change? 
I think being Arab in the United States has helped me make a change by actually showing that there are other cultures and we offer the same amount of love for everyone and spreading that light onto other people makes us all embrace each other no matter where we come from. Thank you, Maya. Zenobia Jafar. Ashraf El Jamal. How do you define success? I would say that success is measured by no one other than yourself. You should never compare yourself to anyone other than the person that you were, whether it was five years ago, ten years ago, or even your younger self. That's how you make success, measure success. Thank you. Our fourth question, Fatan Zen Aldin. Vache Akarakian, if you win the big lottery prize this week, how would you spend your fortune? Hello everyone, if I were to win the cash prize today, I would absolutely donate and support the, uh, the Arab organization and by uh, giving charity work and supporting all, uh, all types of uh, businesses and empower women and advise on social media as well. Thank you. Joanna Ashab. Jean Flores. As an Arab or Middle Eastern woman, what does being a modern woman mean to you? I get to inspire young girls and women in my everyday life when it comes to my job. I work with women and young girls all day, every day, and I get to make them feel confident within who they are. It's not who you are, but it's how you be and be better than the person you are tomorrow. And I get to apply that and show people that you can be whatever you want to be, no matter the circumstances. Thank you. Thank you, Joanne. 